Alrighty, so today was the Q2 stockholders call for Cedar Fair, um, and ultimately there was um, a little bit of pretty good information in the stockholders call. It started off really bland and kind of boring, and they were very basic answers, like all the parks are doing well, blah, blah, blah. But the best part about Cedar Fair stockholders call is when you get to the question period. So um, a lot of the stockholders and the big businesses that are investing in Cedar Fair um, will, like w Wells Fargo, will ask them more in-depth questions. So um, I'm going to go over a lot of information. There's some really good news for parks like Knott's Berry Farm, Cedar Point, Kings Island, and Canada's Wonderland. So those are the four parks that keep getting honorable mentions in the stockholders call for 2019 season. Um, and uh, I have an actual dollar value that Cedar Fair is investing in the parks for 2019, or sorry, 2020. Um, and that's going to tell a lot. So there's going to be a lot of videos that are going to come out from this stockholders call because um, a lot of juicy information. So to begin, I'm going to start off with my home park, Canada's Wonderland, because um, I'm biased. <laughs> I'm kidding. But let's go over it quickly. I'm not going to go too in-depth because it's boring and no one cares about a hotel. Canada's Wonderland Hotel has finally been green-lighted. It is going to um, start being constructed very shortly. Uh, they had a very difficult process in terms of getting the actual building process approved, the design and everything. I think they've had to go back and forth in redesigning the hotel here and there. Um, it is one of Cedar Fair's biggest hotel projects. It's bigger than the Carolines one, but it's smaller than the Cedar Point one. Um, but nonetheless, it's finally approved. It will begin construction almost right away. They're, they said very shortly, um, Canada's Wonderland has had a really strong season. They're very excited for the Winterfest um, event, um, and it should contribute to about 25 extra calendar days uh, for Cedar Fair in terms of boosting revenue. Um, outside of that, the parks that are, they're going to be focusing on in terms of 2020 um, investments uh, mainly are the California parks um, and the East Coast parks. Um, so that tells you a lot. Um, and the big, big, big information from the stockholders call is $140 million approximately is going to be invested into the 2020 season. So $140 million was spent in 2019. That is excluding hotels, sport venues, and all those things. That is literally just enhancements, restaurants, um, attractions, and so forth. Um, so that was spent in 2019, and they said a very similar number would be invested in the 2020 season. So that tells you a lot. In all honesty, that tells me another coaster outside of Kings Island is coming. Um, we're starting to hear that there might be um, an announcement at Canada's Wonderland before Kings Island. I can't confirm that yet. We're hearing rumblings of an August 14th announcement for Canada's Wonderland. And again, it is not going to be a coaster. I'm not saying that at all. It is impossible for it to be a coaster, to be honest. I'm that confident it's not going to be a coaster. So any Wonderland fans in here who got excited there, I'm sorry. Um, I'm expecting something like one of the smaller parks. So I think one of the smaller parks is going to make an announcement. I think Cedar Point's got a really big expansion because $140 million is a lot. And the Kings Island Giga is probably going to take up $30 million max if you're including epic theming. So we'll see how that goes. Um, but yeah, I want to hear from you guys. Comment down below what you think. What do you think could honestly be coming um, for the 2020 season? Um, I know that was a really quick wrap up of the stockholders call, but I thought I'd let you guys know because it was juicy information. Um, again, they're saying their top four big parks, Canada's Wonderland, Knott's Berry Farm, Cedar Point and Kings Island were the top um, growth parks for 2019. So that's really exciting. Hope you enjoyed this really quick update. I wanted to make it short because I know some people don't enjoy the stockholders call of things. I'll be making separate videos on the $140 million and what I think that could mean. But again, that does tell us a lot um, in terms of what Cedar Fair is looking to invest. And uh, it kind of helps us figure out that there are more coasters coming to Cedar Fair um, in 2020. I would say there's probably one or maybe even a, a third smaller coaster for one of the smaller parks coming. Um, and yeah, we're starting to get some announcement dates for those parks as well. So that's super exciting. Um, and I can't wait. It looks like it's going to be a great 2020 season. Six Flags looks like they're investing a lot of money too. You have those other parks in Europe and other parks outside of Cedar Fair and Six Flags that are announcing some pretty awesome stuff. Um, so I'm super excited for 2020 and it's looking really great. Again, hopefully you enjoyed this. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't, and share this video for others to enjoy. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Have a good one. Bye.